Welcome to TGI Today, Kauai Island's only live newscast powered by AI. TGI Today focuses on local and relevant news content you can only get from the Garden Island. I'm James, and with me is Rose. Join us as we bring you the in-depth stories behind the headlines right here on TGI Today. On today's show, we'll cover stories about sign waivers bringing attention to suicide prevention, the Point and Hilton Grand Vacations helping build homes in Waimea, and the soaring home sales in July. Before we start, a big mahalo to Long's Drugs for sponsoring today's newscast. Visit your local Long's Drugs for your everyday needs and continue to make Long's part of your day. Today, we're talking about the recent sign-waving event on Rice Street and Yumai Street, bringing attention to suicide prevention efforts in Kauai. Rose, the event highlighted the importance of raising awareness about suicide prevention in the community. Can you share more details about the significance of this initiative? James, the mayor of Kauai, Derek S. K. Kawakami, declared September 2024 as Suicide Awareness Month, emphasizing the need to address the issue. He mentioned that there were 1,050 documented suicide deaths in Hawaii between 2019 and 2023, with 66 on Kauai during the same period. The proclamation by Mayor Kawakami sheds light on the alarming statistics of suicide deaths in the state. Can you elaborate on the efforts being made to support individuals struggling with mental health issues? Absolutely. Pretty Maya Tail, the Community Programs Director at Hale Opio Kauai, emphasized the importance of addressing bullying and its connection to suicide among young individuals on the island. She highlighted the need for community awareness and support during challenging times, especially as the holiday season approaches. Looking ahead, the Suicide Kauai Task Force aims to continue spreading awareness throughout September with various events. What are the upcoming initiatives planned by the task force? James, the Prevent Suicide Kauai Task Force, will be organizing weekly events, including training sessions and sign-waving activities. They will also be participating in community events to ensure the message of awareness reaches a wider audience. Additionally, individuals can seek help by dialing 988 to connect with the Suicide and Crisis Line available 24-7. Before we wrap up, Rose, what final thoughts or messages would you like to share regarding suicide prevention and the importance of seeking help when needed? It's essential to remember that everyone faces challenges at some point, and seeking help is a sign of strength. By raising awareness and providing support, we can make a difference in preventing suicide and promoting mental well-being in our community. Thank you, Rose, for sharing your insights. Remember, there is always hope, help, and healing available for those in need. Coming up next, we'll be talking about how Hilton Grand Vacations is playing a crucial role in building homes in Waimea. Now we are discussing how Hilton Grand Vacations volunteers are helping build homes in Waimea. Rose, can you tell us more about the volunteer work at the Huakai Project in Waimea? Absolutely, James. The Point at Poipu team worked on a home for first-time homebuyer Rebecca Cameron, who shared her story of wanting to provide stability for her family. That's heartwarming. What was the role of the Hilton Grand Vacation volunteers in this project? The volunteers were involved in cutting, painting, and installing baseboards at the home, contributing to the construction of 32 single-family homes in the Waimea Hiwakai subdivision. Can you share more about the partnership between Hilton Grand Vacations and Habitat for Humanity International? Certainly, James. In 2021, Hilton Grand Vacations announced a national partnership with Habitat for Humanity International, supporting volunteerism for new home builds and repair projects in local communities. And that's a great initiative to make a positive impact. Thank you, Rose, for sharing this inspiring story with us. Coming up next, we'll be diving into the latest surge in home sales for the month of July. Now we're diving into the latest real estate trends with a focus on home sales in July. Rose, what do we know about the significant increase in single-family home sales on Kauai last month? In July, the sales of single-family homes on Kauai more than doubled, with a total of 37 homes sold compared to 16 in July 2023 marking a 131.25% increase. Moving on, what can you share about the impact on the median price of single-family homes in the region? Well, James, despite the surge in home sales, the median price of a single-family home on Kauai remained unchanged at $1,300,000 in July, the highest among the major Hawaiian islands. Let's shift our focus to Oahu. How did the market perform there in July? 
on Oahu. The sales of single-family homes rose by 20.09% to $269 in July, with the median price increasing to $1,140,000. Meanwhile, condo sales decreased by 7.82% to $389, with a slight increase in the median price. Thank you, Rose, for breaking down the latest real estate trends for us. That wraps up today's edition of TGI Today, the local and relevant news content you can only get from the Garden Island. Thanks for tuning in. For complete local news coverage, visit the Garden Island website, your go-to spot for staying up to date. See you next time.